Dear students, today we are going to learn about the lysosomes. Lysosomes are the scavengers of the cells. These are tiny organelles which are single membrane bounded and filled with hydrolytic enzymes. Let's learn about these. Lysosomes derived from the Greek word lysis means uh, splitting and soma means body these are found in animal cells and present all over the cytoplasm it means the lysosomes are present in cytoplasm and they carry out the digestive digestive work for the cell lysosome structure these are tiny sac like structures also a single membrane bound structures these consist of important enzymes like uh, hydrolytic enzymes and bounded by a phospholipid bilayer these hydrolytic enzymes are of various types enzymes uh, which are there in the lysosomes like the nucleases Phosphatases, lipases, proteases, glycosidases, and sulfatases, and these are abundant in those uh, structures which contain or organs which contain the uh, active metabolisms. You can see in the figure that there is a single membrane, and the green part, actually, that green part are the enzymes which help in digestion for the cell. In this diagram you can see that there is a phospholipid a membrane and the uh, hydrolytic enzymes are filled inside. These hydrolytic enzymes require acidic pH which then combines with some molecules and digest it. The important enzymes like nucleases which include ribonuclease and deoxyribonuclease break down polynucleotide into nitrogen bases, phosphate and pepto pentose sugars. Second type of uh, the important enzyme which are present that is phosphatase. Acid phosphatase break down phosphate esters to monophosphates. The third one is known as lipases, which break lipids uh, into fragments. The fourth one is proteases. Proteases break down protein into the amino acids. Glycosidases, there is beta gl uh, galactosidase and other uh, types are there like glucuronosidase and monosidase which break down polysaccharides into the monosaccharides. The next uh, important enzyme is sulfatases. Sulfatases are those enzymes which break down sulfur esters into their respective fragments. Discovery of lysosome. Lysosomes were discovered by Christian Didu in 1955. Later on, he won Nobel Prize for the discovery of paroxysomes and lysosomes in 1974. Christian Didu was working on the hormone insulin and specially in consideration uh, he took glucose 6 phosphatase which is a uh, first crucial enzyme in the sugar metabolism and through centrifugation in all processes he was able to isolate these organelles. He found that there are uh, some enzymes which are membrane bounded and which isolate these enzymes from the surrounding cytoplasm. There are three types of uh, lysosomes which are known as primary, secondary and tertiary lysosomes. The first form ribosome is uh, lysosome is known as primary lysosomes. 
Enzymes are lysosomes are synthesized in the endoplasmic reticulum, then they are transferred to the Golgi apparatus. They are, these enzymes are processed in the Golgi apparatus and then they bud off as a primary lysosome. The first form lysosome then uh, combine with the endosome and that is known as the secondary lysosome. Secondary lysosome is the active lysosome as formed when primary lysosome fuses with another membrane bound vesicle. A synthesis when there is a presence of foreign particles so that when the uh, primary lysosomes combines with the um, endosome then it is also known as phagosome. Phagosome or digestive vacuole. <clears throat> At that time it is also known as the secondary uh, secondary lysosome. Secondary lysosome is the active lysosome. So <clears throat> in uh, other words we can say that when primary lysosomes become active it is known as secondary lysosomes. These are also known as the scavengers of the cells because they mm, scavenge the waste material because they digest the uh, waste material and throw out the leftover when the lysosomes is uh, mm, lysosome remains with the leftover then it is known as the uh, tertiary lysosome functions of lysosomes lysosomes are very important because they contain hydrolytic enzymes which digest protein, carbohydrate, nucleic acid, etc. They undergo four processes. Number one, phagocytosis. Number two, endocytosis. Number three, exocytosis. And number four, autolysis or autophagy. Digest food particles carried in via endocytosis, they destroy the harmful microorganisms, bacteria, fungi and viruses, break down old and damaged organelle in cell and kill or destroy their own cell through autolysis. These four uh, steps are, are these four uh, uh, types of functions which are uh, related with the lysosomes and that's why that is known as the splitting body. Now, is baat ko note kiya jai that the, the lysosomes present on the cell and they contain digestive enzymes but uh, how the cell survive in it because the lysosomal uh, membrane is impermeable and in the cytoplasm the pH is 7 that's why the enzymes are non-functional inside the uh, cytoplasm. In an acidic pH uh, nearly 5 the outer membrane of lysosomes import the protons from the surrounding cytoplasm the process in which the foreign particles are digested is known as phagocytosis. This phenomena was uh, discovered by Professor Mechenkov in 1882 in the larvae of starfish denotes the engulfment and digestion of whole cell microbes or old organelles which comes into the cell. If we look uh, the endosome, then phagosome and the tertiary lysosomes are formed. The endosome comes and the primary lysosomes which are synthesized by the ribosomes of rough endoplasmic reticulum and then they become the um, phagosome and tertiary lysosome. Transport the movement of macromolecules such as proteins or polysaccharides in and out of the cell is called bulk transport. When it comes inside the cell, it is known as endocytosis. When it goes outside the cell, it is known as exocytosis. 
so endocytosis is a process by which uh, the material comes in side or uh, into the cells there are three types of endocytosis phagocytosis pinocytosis and the third one is receptor mediated endocytosis pinocytosis is the cellular drinking pinocytosis is the when the cell engulfs drops of fluid by pinching in and forming vesicles it is non specific process in which the cell takes in whatever solute there are dissolved inside it so they actually they take in liquid with some um, uh, macro molecules so that why that's why it is known as the pinocytosis in pinocytosis the uh, lipids etc are taken in the <clears throat> endosome is formed membrane bound compartment in endocytic pathway inside eukaryotic cell internalize molecule from plasma membrane and recycle them early endosome and recycling endosome sort them for degradation to lysosome when lysosome endosome come in and that combines with the uh, lysosome it is known as phagosome and then the phagosome do the enzymatic activity break down and assimilate whatever is necessary and then the other is thrown out as a tertiary um, lysosome type is receptor mediated endocytosis actually it involves dynamines and clathrin dynamine is a uh, belongs to the super family gt phases these are micro tubule binding uh, proteins a uh, 100 kilo dalton of molecular weight and they these uh, help in the formation of synaptic vesicles the second type is uh, clathrin which uh, help in the formation of coated vesicles from the figure it is very clear that diamine and clathrin actually signals the lysosome to come and bind with it and do its uh, specified uh, work which is required we come to the exocytosis exocytosis is a phenomena in which materials are exported out of the cell via secretory vesicles these secretory vesicles are formed by the golgi apparatus and travel to uh, infuse with the plasma membrane infusion causes the vesicle to spill its content out of the cell the lysosomes when uh, throw out the enzymes or hormones outside the cell is known as extracellular digestion the extracellular digestion is very common in fungi autophagy autophagy is a phenomena in which cell digests uh, digest its own parts is known as autophagy autophagy is a catabolic process in eukaryotic cells it is derived from greek words auto means self and phagy means eating there are types of autophagy which is known as macro autophagy big vesicule with double phospho uh, phospholipid layer and uh, encloses an organelle or cell structure wrapped inside a specialized organelle called autophagosome which then fuses with lysosome and vesicle for degradation so macrophagy is a phenomena in which a double phosphor layer is uh, a vacuole is formed and then it is digested and micro autophagy small vacuole with a single single phosphor lipid layer that uh, squester a small portion of cytosol a process that resemble pinching of a phagosome or pinosome from plasma membrane so macrophagy and microphagy uh, has some differences and these differences are on the basis of the phospholipid layers when it is double layered it is known as macrophagy when it is single layered 
it is known as microphagy the third type is known as chaperon mediated autophagy chaperons are those proteins molecules which help in the folding and unfolding of other macromolecules so these chaperon uh, proteins possess a specific sequence signals which are transported from cytoplasm and they are uh, uh, they then go to the lysosomal membrane and then to the lysosomal lumen and there they initiate the uh, autophagy this type of autophagy is known as chaperon mediated autophagy important question is that that why uh, lysosome engulf the organelle we know that most of the double membranic organelle contain prokaryotic membrane as an inner membrane when the inner membrane is exposed the lysosome consider it as a foreign particle and engulf it next we have uh, all the uh, benefits of autophagy autophagy play important role in innate adaptive immunity innate and adaptive immunity responsible for apoptosis program cell death prevent uh, cancer neurodegeneration and uh, it slows the body aging process and protect brain from damage lysosomal diseases there are two types of lysosomal diseases one is lysosomal storage disorders and the other are muscle diseases in our uh, course we have lysosomal storage diseases and the harmful accumulation of abnormally enlarged lysosomes containing accumulated undigested cellular components are known as lysosomal uh, storage disorders which not only uh, produces defects of skeletal and muscular organs uh, as well as they produce the mental retardation or even death one of the most uh, important one is glycogenosis type 2 which is also known as pompe disease it is actually an autosomal recessive disorder which results from the deficiency of acid alpha glucosidase also known as acid maltase a lysosomal hydrolase which is present on the chromosome 15 and as you know that glycogen breaking uh, disorder uh maybe of several types there are 14 steps involved in it so each one is facilitated by an enzyme and when there is a lack of that enzyme or that enzyme is deficient so it will produce this disease the second one is tesach disease tesach disease is actually um, uh, inherited neurogenerative disease the uh, when there is a lack of beta hexosaminidase type a or a is not present it produces tesach disease cells which uh, lead to the toxicity and then lead to the death of the person uh, these are very much important diseases thank you students please give me your feedback as your feedback make us improve and develop us more